Hello everybody, welcome to a very sunny day in Imperium Galactic Survival. I am the Yellow Chili. And uh, in the last episode, we uh, were getting ready to leave this planet. And we still are. Uh, we're about to deconstruct the last um, of the T2 auto miners that we put in the deconstructor. And uh, I've managed to move uh, almost everything from the input... Actually, everything from the input to the input of the Wayfarer here. Um, the only thing is we're still uh, going to get some stuff from our um, deconstructed um, auto miners. But I think we should be good. And if not, we can still throw some stuff in the factory. Uh, I don't think we're going to need more titanium plates in the factory. Though. Might have to move those somewhere else. What we could definitely do is um, refine some of the ores that we have in here. For instance, uh, we have silicon. Definitely have copper. Because the ingots are always, um, ha they always have a better ratio um, when it comes to volume, so they don't fill up your containers too much. I also managed to save our base uh, in creative mode, and I removed all the plants and did some tweaking. Um, removed some container extensions from the controllers so that we can spawn the space um, and even have a advanced constructor and a deconstructor in the base without going over T2. And uh, I think that's going to come in handy, so we can actually respawn the space on another planet if we want to, unless we want to um, rebuild a POI, which we might do uh, depending on what we find. Like I said, I would like to um, go on an ocean planet or maybe a tropical planet. We'll see what we can find. Okay, how's the deconstructor doing? Deconstructing. Well, great job. Uh, I think what we could do, it's still nicely warm out. Negative 13 degrees, and I'm saying it's nicely warm out. We could still, we could look for some, uh, some stuff to harvest or some stuff to shoot, some uh, creatures, but I don't think there are any near our base, so... This actually looks really nice. Unfortunately, it was only very, very rarely that we had this nice of a weather on this planet. There's some magnesium, we can pick that up. Also, this, this moon looks really cool from here. Yeah, I think the weather was usually not this clear. Planet trying to say goodbye. Maybe, maybe the planet is happy that we're leaving. That's why it's showing the best uh, possible weather. Anyways, um, we can still go upstairs and um, close our hangar. And I did not finish uh, the the outside uh, color of the base. The paint job, but uh, I'm not going to because we're gonna probably gonna respawn the space. Maybe, maybe not. We'll definitely respawn it in a later let's play. So there's not really a need to to finish this paint job right now. Okay, let's turn off the lights. So they won't accidentally go back on. Come on, man, hurry this up. Okay, the food processor is offline. There is still an advanced constructor in the... Uh, because we removed it, right. Um, what I also did, because I needed to fit more stuff in the input, I constructed a few things in the Wayfarer. And we're gonna... We're gonna... Um, put those in the factory. Because that's even more efficient than adding uh, simple parts. 
So the large fuel tank, it's only one minute, that sucks. The constructor is three minutes though, and the generator, only one minute. So it's actually constructor th constructors that we should be putting in our factory. Make those. Probably can. Yeah, when I when I was um, saving the space in creative mode, um, right now the cores down below this block, I believe, uh, I removed that because um, here it's not much of a problem because this base is built so low into the snow um, that the core is not visible. But if we don't put it into the ground this much, we might have the core visible, and we really don't want that to happen. So I removed the core and I placed it downstairs in the generator room with the CPU extender. And that should be a little bit more, um, yeah, hidden from the public, let's put it that way. I'm gonna check something real quick. It seems like the game is behaving a little sluggish. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, here we are. I just had to restart the game. Um, I hope it's gonna be better now. Because I'm using a uh, GTX 970 and um, once it uses more than 3.5 gigs of RAM uh, it gets really really slow and uh, I'm hoping that it will keep memory usage below that but I don't think we're gonna be lucky here. I'm running GPU Z in the background and it's telling me that we're using way more memory. It does seem a little better though doesn't it? Great. Okay, so this will be done in just a little bit. And it's snowing again. Maybe now the planet is, is sad that we're leaving. And I think we're gonna take the deconstructor with us. Um, we don't really need a deconstructor here as in... Like, if we have to use this base as an emergency base, I don't think we're gonna need the deconstructor. It, it'll be nice to have a constructor here, and uh, I think what we're also gonna pack is... Uh, one of the portable constructors? I think we're actually gonna... Oh crap, I totally forgot about that. Okay, let's put that in here. Energy. Where's energy? Here. Put that in here. We're gonna put that in the ingredients and this to oxygen. We don't have that much oxygen, but we can make more from the ice, I believe. So. Right, and we also have to. We have one container that is unused. So let's make some. Uh, make this like a mixed container of. Uh, Yep, 
Yep, that's quite nice. So we can we got rid of some of our input stuff. Uh, we also have a lot of neodymium, so we can take that out too. I'm gonna go to the base, put all of the things from the input in there. How's the constructor doing? Yeah, I think we're gonna throw that in here. Okay, we're done here, great. And, oh right, I think I was going to remove the plants, right? Okay, Wayfarer, Misk. We're gonna put you in here. And then this here. Yeah, I, I actually think we're gonna take these plants with us. Because we can just replant them when we respawn the base. Okay, base, it was nice working with you. We're gonna turn you off now. Behave, be safe. And temperature is gonna drop here. Goodbye, snow starter. All right, what I did off camera, by the way, I installed this off camera projector. So um, every time uh, we start a new episode, I'll let you know what I did in this uh, off-camera work projector. Okay. Oh, wow. Looks like we haven't harvested anything in a while. Okay, so let's put everything we just harvested in our input. All the plants in here. What we could do now... Um, we do have two CPU extenders T3 in the output. We could make a... Um, a shield for the CV. Can actually, let's do that. Then upgrade our ship to T3. Make the shield. Before we run into any any surprises. I think we're gonna put the shield generator right here. Do we have any... No, we don't. Could you please make a steel block? Okay, you could also continue making pentaxit because we're gonna need some for the shield. You could make a steel block, please. energy and input okay great so from our output I'm gonna take these two guys and the steel block the steel block will go here then we're gonna have to place the CPU extenders 
Not 100% sure what's behind this. I'm a little afraid that we're gonna kill our hull if we... We remove that block. There is actually room here for another constructor. But... Over here. Anything back there? Well, that's container extension. Interesting. Well, okay, in that case. I don't think we want this. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so where are we gonna put those extensions? So those uh, extenders, I'm sorry, not extensions. Um, there is contain. We could. Put the um, one up here at least. Not the second one though. There's the pentaxid tank. Could also just put them on top of our containers. Could also put them up here. I think I want to, um, oh, we can't. I was going to say I want them facing upside down, or facing up, basically. But we can't do that because there is a block here. Okay, anyways, um... We should have a ton of CPU left now. Yeah, we have one million left. How much is the shield? Where did you put the shield? Put that in the output, please. Thank you. That is only 18,100 CPU. Okay. Can't put it in there because it's three times three. I thought it was two times two, but that's the gravity generator, right? Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay. Question is, can we take these things out? Without ruining the hull. It does look like it. Yeah, that is fine. Well, oh, the gravity generator is back there. Okay, cool. So that only increased that by a little bit. So basically, we're now ready to go. Do we have 
anything in our um, container control. We do. We have all sorts of ammo in here. Great. Oops. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Goodbye, snow starter. I was gonna say I'm not gonna miss you, but maybe I am. It was always nice getting back to our cozy little base. After being out in the cold for a while. Okay. Beta system, and we are at Ningus. There should be a trade station in orbit. There it is. Let's visit that before we le we actually leave. Where is that? There. Okay. There's the top distillery. There's the trading station. And I guess I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, we're back. And we're approaching the orbital trading station. We're just gonna do some trading here before we take off completely. Because we still have a ton of stuff that we can sell to the Polaris. Alrighty, here we are. We're at the medications guy. Let's see if we can sell any medication. Okay. Bandages. Uh, well, we can sell you a couple. Health packs, four. Trauma kit, we don't have any detox kit. Sell you six. Adrenaline shot, we have three. Domic pills, we have ten. Parasite pills. Nice working with you. Okay, weapons. Where is the... Paul's T2, he won nine, really? Wow, that is cool. Okay, let's sell him this one. Then you want projectile pistols. Do we have six? We do, in fact. Two, two shotguns, you only want two, unfortunately. Two snipers, you don't want any. Okay. You do want miniguns and laser rifles, I hope. Okay, we don't have a minigun. You do have a laser pistol, laser rifle. You don't want any either. Sad. You're making me sad, friend. Are these for sale? I wonder. Well, we could definitely sell two of these. An oxygen tank boost and jetpack we, we're not going to need. 
Heavy armor, still, still. I think that is it. He doesn't want a flamethrower. We could sell him all the upgrade kits, actually. We have a pistol upgrade kit. What else do you want? I don't think we have night vision, do we? Oh, we have miniguns, though. Well, you don't want any. Okay. Do you want? You want pulse rifles, though. I think we have a couple. We do. Pulse rifle seven. Great. Regular pistols, I don't think you want. I think that's it. next question we need to ask ourselves is do we need any of the uh, optronic stuff I think you need our oxygen tank boosts boosts and could buy all the gold he has. Because gold is a bitch to get. You can't place auto miners on... <coughs> Excuse me. On uh, gold deposits. You want our jetpack boot. A jetpack? It is, but you don't want it. Okay. We could buy some optronic stuff here. You have platinum bars, and you... Okay. Hmm. You have everything. The chronic stuff is 126 and 279. 144 and 255. Okay, so this is cheaper here. The question is do we need any. any large chronic stuff, or is the next thing we're gonna do maybe a SV? This, for instance. Wow, we could just build that instantly. In that case, let's see what we need for that. We need this. That. Okay, so we need four small chronic bridges. I'm not sure if we can afford those. We could, but we can only buy three. So we have to, we're gonna have to make one. It 
Did the guy in the conference room have optronic stuff? Not 100% sure. Not. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Anyways. Okay, so we need one more. We can probably just make that. Okay, great. Alright guys. With this last view of our um, snow starter planet, I am gonna end the episode here. And in the next episode we're finally jumping away from the snow starter forever, or probably for almost ever. We, we're gonna leave the base behind, it's not gonna get reset or anything, but uh, it's not very likely we're gonna come back anytime soon. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, leave a comment or message and uh, share the video and uh, all of that will help the channel. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.